who doesn't like to get their feet massaged? I mean, I, I think it's the best thing ever. Well, if you agree with me and you think it's the best thing ever, I've got a foot massager you might want to check out. And it's in this video right here. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, and give them a rating from my own rating system to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money unless they are given to me for free by the manufacturer. And if that's the case, I'll always let you know at the beginning of the video. And today that is definitely the case. Bob and Brad's marketing team emailed me and asked me if I would try out their foot massager and do a review on it. Now I had a very specific comeback for them. I wrote back and said, look, I'll go ahead and try it out but I can't guarantee you I'm gonna give it a good review just because you gave it to me. And I said, I'm also not gonna put any affiliate links in my video to get discounts and that kind of stuff because that's not what I'm all about. I figure if you guys like it, you can go out and buy it yourself and I don't care about making money on it. I really don't. I have a real job that I actually make money at. These are just videos that I do for fun. They agreed, which is very cool. So I'm reviewing that today. Now, I love getting my feet massaged, and unlike a lot of people, I don't actually need a full body massage, although those are great, but if I just had somebody who could massage my feet once a week, I would say I would be in heaven. Seems like my feet are kind of the anchors to everything else in my body. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. There are a whole bunch of different ways to massage your feet. I have a Theragun which I'll show you, and you can use that, which is fine, or you can use items like a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball that I'll talk about later. But there's something about not having to do anything at all and just sitting on your couch or in a chair, putting your feet in some sort of machine and just kicking back and reading a book while your feet get massaged. There's nothing like it. There's no work involved. If you don't know who Bob and Brad are, you are probably one of the few that don't. Here's a little history on who they are so you can kind of see what they're all about. Bob and Brad are two physical therapists who are located in the Midwest. I think they're in Wisconsin actually. And they do have a practice and they've got over 4.25 million YouTube subscribers. They've got like over 300,000 Facebook or Meta subscribers. They've got over 100,000 Instagram subscribers and about 83,000 people following them on TikTok. One of the funniest things that they say about themselves is they are the most famous physical therapists on the internet in their opinion. I found them one day on YouTube because I pulled my hamstring and I was kind of going through YouTube trying to find out ways to fix it and they had a video out on how to fix it and you know what it worked. I thought wow these guys know what they're talking about so ever since then I've been following them and subscribing to them and using their tips to make me feel better. Now they've become so popular on social media that they actually have their own website where they sell their own products. And I don't mind trying their products out because I figured they know what they're doing. I'm sure they wouldn't endorse something that is bad. But you never know, so you always have to try them out to make sure. So 2022 has been a pretty tough year physically for me. I just had shoulder surgery about three weeks ago and I just got my sling off, so I'm starting to do physical therapy for that. You're thinking to yourself probably like, hey, Kurt, well, at least you can walk. Well, the problem with that is I also think I have plantar fasciitis and I've been going to physical therapy for that as well. And I think I have plantar fasciitis on both of my feet. How I did that, I don't know. I think it might have been from my barefoot trials because I think I transitioned to barefoot shoes too quickly and it was sprinting in them and was doing it the wrong way and it all added up to just a bunch of pain basically but thankfully my right foot is not as bad as my left foot and it is getting better little by little now you might ask what the heck is plantar fasciitis anyways and I didn't know either I just found out about it recently I went through the internet and here is the exact definition of it. Plantar fasciitis is an inflammation of a thick band of tissue that connects the heel bone to the toes. The inflamed tissue runs across the bottom of the foot. Symptoms include stabbing pain near the heel. And this is exactly what I have. I have this stabbing pain, especially in my left heel. Now, what does that feel like? It feels like somebody has a fireplace poker and they're poking your heel while you walk. Now, luckily I found a way to minimizes pain. If I don't walk too long a distances, it doesn't hurt that bad, but I can't do much right now. So it's crazy. So I think in 2023, I'm going to change my channel to Kurt sits on the couch for a whole year and doesn't injure himself. Would you guys watch that? 
Before we look at this massager, let me show you some ways that I've been working on my feet without a massager before I got this massager. Here's a couple of items I use on my feet manually to make them feel better. This is a lacrosse ball that I just bought from Dick Sporting Goods. And this is great to roll your bottom of your foot on. And of course I have the Theragun, which works pretty well too. So I'll show you what I do with these things uh, so you can see the difference between these and what the Bob and Brad massager is like. So I'll just take this ball, put it down on my mat and put my foot on top of it and just kind of roll back and forth using my weight. You can actually put it in a spot where your foot is the source and kind of move it around and it works pretty well. Now the Theragun is great as well and this is what I do with the Theragun. But are these two items better than the Baba and Brad foot massager? Well, before we get into that, let's take a look at what's in the box. Now what did I get? I got this amazing box from Bob and Brad. Just kidding. I'm sure cats would like this a lot probably. Here is the massager. It's pretty light as you can see. It has different modes on it and I'll talk about these different modes in a second. What I really like about it and what's super helpful is it has a remote so you don't have to go down here and press any buttons. You can just use the remote instead while you're sitting in a chair or on the couch or something like that. Also, the connection is super easy. You connect a power cord, which is included into this, into an outlet, and you're ready to go, basically. Now, it's got different phases of kneading intensity. It's got low, medium, and high. It's got this air pressure, low, medium, high. And basically what that does is it squeezes your foot more or less with air pressure. And then they've got the air mode. At first I thought, well, they have an air pressure mode and an air mode. I don't get it. But the air mode actually is three different kinds of massages, shiatsu massages on your feet. Finally, they've got heat as well. So you've got low, medium, and high heat. Now, are there big differences between the different selections you can make in each mode? I found out that kind of the need intensity, for example, if it was on low, was not nearly enough to feel much. And the medium or high setting is usually what I kept it on most of the time. I also found out that the air pressure mode in low was not intense enough and it had to be on medium and high. And high was pretty intense, actually. It squeezed my foot a lot. Now the air mode, which has the three different types of shiatsu massage on your foot, was not as different feeling as I thought it would. In fact, it was really hard to figure out what the differences were. I felt a little bit of differences between the mode, but I couldn't really tell you. Heat mode, I found out that medium and high heat is the best to use. It's not crazy hot, but it does help with your massage. What were the biggest advantages to this? Well, there's a few neat things about it. If you are sharing this with somebody in the family or a friend, boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it is, you can actually take these out here with a little zipper and wash them and put them back in. Also, the storage is really easy because this is very, very light. So I put it under my coffee table and just leave it there. I flipped it over so you can see the bottom. It's got these little four pedestals, I guess you would call them. And there's this kickstand that helped tilt it so it's at a better ergonomic position to sit on the couch or on a chair to put your feet inside. I also want to mention that it does come with an instruction manual and you should read through it because there's a lot of warnings in there and specific guidelines that you might want to check out. It takes about five to seven minutes to read. So just take the time out and do it. I know it's tough sometimes because you get a new product. You just want to put that thing on or use it right away because it's like Christmas morning and you feel like you're nine years old again. But take the time. I've learned this the hard way kick back and read those instructions first. So I pulled my coffee table out so you can see how I use this, but I keep this right under here, pull it out. I have got a power strip underneath my couch. Here is the connection that's included with everything and here's where it connects, just like this. So this is what I would typically do if I was getting my feet massaged. Take off my socks, of course, and this is what I love about it. I can sit back now and kind of relax 
and start it up with this. So I click it on, get my kneading where I want it. I get my air mode where I want it. I get my air pressure where I want it and my heat where I want it. Now I can kind of sit back for 15 minutes because it clicks off automatically after 15 minutes. If you want to stop in the middle of a session, you can just hit the power button and click it off so you don't have to wait the full 15 minutes for it to stop to pull your feet out. One of the things I read in the instructions, which is kind of funny, is it said, don't do this before you go to bed because it gets the blood circulating in your feet. It might actually wake you up. Well, I have found the exact opposite in this. I actually use this before I go to sleep because it makes me tired. I love it. I mean, getting a foot massage and then going to bed, it's actually helping me sleep better. You might be able to hear the machine going right now if you listen. It's not super loud and not super quiet. It's just a nice little hum, but you do definitely know it's on. So how often was I using this thing? Well, I found myself using this two to three times a day, believe it or not, because since I'm doing the physical therapy on my feet, I just want to give them as much attention as I can right now. I did find myself using it more than the Theragun or the lacrosse ball that I had. And it's probably because it was just easier to use. I found with a Theragun, although it's amazing, I do get tired of just doing this and just doing this. And I find myself defaulting to what is easiest. And I feel like life is kind of like that. When you get busy, you just want to do something easy to get it done to feel better. And this is not a bad alternative. I've had this product for about four weeks now. And I think that's enough time to kind of give you the pros and cons of it. So what were they? First, the pros. Easy to set up, easy to store. It turns off automatically after 15 minutes. I like how I'm able to set the massages in a whole bunch of different modes. Also, it provides a pretty good foot massage with limited effort from the user. It's not like an actual person doing it for you, but it's pretty darn close. What were the cons? The first con to me is that the low settings I thought were pretty useless. I mean, you have to have pretty tender feet to use that. Now, I know they need to make these things for a mass market, so maybe some people can only do the low settings, but they were so low I would never even use them. The difference between medium and high heat was not that big, and a lot of times I found myself not even using it. Now let's get to my own rating system, the three Ps, which is comprised of price, performance, and staying power. First, the price. What is the price of this thing? At $139.99, the Bob and Brad 721 foot massager is equal to or maybe a little bit higher than other manufactured foot massagers in its class. Now don't get that confused with another foot massager which I have, which is a lot more expensive than this one. By the way, you can find the item on Amazon by typing Bob and Brad's 721 foot massager. However, you won't find the number 721 in the title on the purchase page. Now, is it gonna be worth the price? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to have this thing for a year. Will it hold up? Will it break down? Who knows? Maybe if I get over 10,000 views from this video, I'll do a follow-up review in like a year from now and let you know what I think. So I'm gonna give it a seven for price. How about performance? Was it good or did it let me down? There are some things you should know. It can fit up to a size 12 foot. I have a size nine and a half to 10 foot, so it fit me fine. But if you're a gigantic person or a small person with large feet, you might not be able to use this. It gave me a good shiatsu massage. So if you guys have shiatsu massages and know what that feels like, then you'll understand this product. The heating element, like I said, was decent, but so-so for me. So for performance, I'll give it a 7.5. Now let's talk about staying power. Am I gonna keep this thing around or is this a one and done product? Well, I think you can tell from my video so far that this product was pretty decent. I did find it really helpful with my plantar fasciitis combined with my physical therapies. So yes, I'm gonna keep it around and keep using it. And like I said before, I did enjoy the fact that it did make me sleepy when I used it. So for staying power, I'm gonna give it an eight. So what's the final tally? Price, seven. Performance, 7.5. Staying power, eight. That comes to a total average score of 7.5. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, by the way. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can hit me up at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness.
I'll see you on the next one.